Hey everybody, thanks a lot for joining me. I gotta tell you, I think this is the best time of the year where makeup is concerned. I love all the holiday palettes, the gift sets that come out. For high-end products, I think it's a much better value than just purchasing a bunch of things individually, so I always love to jump on these palettes and sets. And I just wanna point out to start that since this is a haul, this is all things that I have bought, um, but I have been sent as PR samples the holiday stuff from Tarte and Too Faced, so I will be doing reviews on all of those things as well, even though you don't see them in this video. Also, over these past couple of weeks, I've already um, posted some reviews to my blog um, and to my Express channel on some of the holiday things, and you will continue to see those kinds of reviews on this channel, the Express channel on the blog. But I just wanted to scroll through here and show you those things that I have already reviewed, so if you're interested, you want more information on any of these things, um, you can click the links below in the info box, and that'll take you to those reviews, blog posts, whatever it may be. As far as the MAC stuff, um, I really don't typically order that much off of MAC's website, but there was one thing that I really, really wanted, and it was this Viva Glam Lip Palette, and it says it's the Keepsakes Viva Glamorous Lip Palette, and it has six of the Viva Glam lipsticks in here, so it's one, two, three, and then down this side is Viva Glam four, five, and six. Lip palettes are so fun too. Rarely do I go into a lip palette and just use one shade. It's like you take that as an opportunity to mix and match a bunch of them. So like today I'm wearing um, mostly one. I've got a little bit of this mixed in on the outsides as well. There is no lip brush included with this, so get your own brush. Or if you're gonna give this to somebody, maybe give a brush with this. One thing that I noticed, I feel like the Viva Glam five in here feels a little bit thin in texture compared to the texture of the actual lipstick. I might have to do some real close comparisons there um, when I review this, but I just wanted to show you that. I'm loving it so far. The other thing I got from MAC was one of the Keepsakes um, eye palettes, and I got the one for smoky eyes. And a uh, very kind of old-fashioned type packaging. Kind of wonder if these pearls are going to come loose at some point because it seems like it's kind of delicate. And I'll list all the shades that are in here on the screen. I wasn't necessarily thrilled with the way all of these swatches. Um, but using them on my eyes, which I did use them for this eye look today, I'm actually really happy with the way the look came together. I used this cream shade on the inner part of the lid, this shade um, all over the lid, some carbon in the outer corner. And the shade that's giving you this nice fade up above is this matte color right and there. this also comes with a little brush, which um, is like a little pencil brush, which is actually quite handy. I use that to smudge on the lower lash line. And then you've got just like a really small um, shadow brush. Then as far as the Ulta stuff, and again, this is a haul, this is kind of like a show and tell type thing. I will be reviewing this stuff um, with much more detail very soon, but one of the things I got was from Benefit, and it's called Sweet Tintation, and this contains small sizes of the Benetint and Posy Tint, and then the full-sized um, Bene Balm and Lolly Balm, and these are the things that I had not yet used before, so these were really why I was getting this kit, and I knew I liked these, so I didn't mind, you know, getting some extras. That's why these are still in here because I already have those tints and I didn't want to crack into these new ones yet. In case you're not familiar with the tints, first off, those can be used on the cheeks or the lips. But from the lip perspective, you can really come out with quite a few different looks here because you get one look if you just use one of these balms alone. You know, it's very sheer and shiny. You get another kind of look if you just use the tint, which is kind of matte and a little more colorful. And then when you layer the two, you get the color plus the shine. I I haven't tried like mixing and matching the lolly tint with you know the Benna balm or something like that. Like I said, still kind of experimenting here, but I really think the packaging on these balms um, is gorgeous, and I love the scent too. It's actually a really nice rosy scent on both of these balms. Also, did you know It Cosmetics now has a sequel to their Naturally Pretty Matte Palette? It is something, especially for the holidays, it's the Naturally Pretty Celebration. So really fun uh, silvery packaging here, and then you open it up and there's all these 100% um, matte shades plus uh, one of those kind of transforming shimmery colors, except in this palette it's an ombre, so it goes um, like champagne to gold. The textures of these shades are equally as wonderful as the original, really pigmented, really easy to blend. I've only used this a couple times so far, and with palettes like this that have this much variety, you really gotta try a lot of different combos before you get a sense of everything this can do. Some really nice neutrals, warm tones, some very dark smoky shades. This shade called Cole, 
not messing around. Very, very dark. I feel like lately I get so many questions about matte eyeshadow palettes, so I felt the need to definitely pick this one up and try it out, so that is review material for sure. I got the latest edition of the Vice palette from Urban Decay, and this almost reminds me of a little, like, iPad or something, because it comes in this little zippered case. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but you open this up and massive mirror. I mean, talk about travel friendly. That's a great, wonderfully sized mirror there. And then here's all the shades that you've got going on inside. I feel like there's a ton of jewel tone happening with this. I like that, you know, these pretty colors in the middle are sort of sandwiched between two very neutral rows. So it gives you a lot of um, ways to create contrast with those brighter shades. You know I'm loving this row of the pinks and purpley tones right there. Um, definitely more shimmer than matte. Quite a bit of color variety in here though, and I kind of look vertically and I can see, you know, some color combos that really make sense to me. But then, you know, once you start mixing even across the palette, I think there's some cool ways to use this. And then kind of along the same lines of a palette that is a lot of um, neutral and jewel tone type mix is the Smashbox on the Rocks. And this is the Lux palette. I also have the small version of this as well. This was something that I touched on in my makeup that survived childbirth video and it probably will be compared to the large version when I do a review. But this Big Daddy, um, really nice solid packaging. I love that it's a little bit puffy here. And then it has a magnetic closure. You open it up and here's all these shadows. In years past I've always made a point to get these Smashbox holiday palettes because I mean I really have not been disappointed. They've been among my favorites. This one definitely a little bit more of a matte and shimmer mix than the Urban Decay. I'm seeing a lot more matte in this palette. And in this you've got these overlapping color families here with neutral and your blues and purples and then your smoky shades and pinks. Already knew I love Smashbox Photo Op formula and there are a lot of different finishes in here as well. You've got the matte and shimmer. And then you've got others in here with little flecks of glitter and like this shade over here is like a really interesting sheer kind of glittery sheen. So I'm seeing kind of a lot of variation in the way these swatched. I didn't love every single shade, but I'm going to have to use them on my eyes, you know, to be sure. But if you're a fan of purples, there are some really interesting, pretty um, lilac and purple tones in this here. This really dusty shade up top, I think, is awfully pretty. So to be continued on this one, I'll be trying that some more. Also at Ulta, heads up EOS lip balm fans. This actually has a little top here, but I could not get it back on. Um, this is the Array of Holiday Sunshine Limited Edition Collection inspired by Rachel Roy. This was just $7.99 for this set of three, which I thought was a pretty good deal. The flavors you're getting are pink grapefruit, uh, orange blossom, and strawberry kiwi. And let me know if you agree, if you've tried these as well, but I feel like the scents on these are really bold. The pink grapefruit is that classic citrusy scent. Um, the orange kind of reminds me of like orange tang or, you know, one of those orangey drinks. And just like the other EOS lip balms, you know, it's that kind of colorless round balm in there. And yeah, this strawberry kiwi definitely makes me think of Kool-Aid or something like that, a really strong sweet scent. So that's it for this video. I've just had a lot of questions about, have you tried this? Have you tried that? And I just wanted to tell you, you know, some of the things that I am experimenting with that you will be seeing reviews on soon. And again, there are some other holiday things that I've already reviewed, so check the links below if you're interested in seeing those. And also the Tarte and Too Faced holiday stuff. I've got a lot of things there that I'll be posting reviews on as well. So busy time here, but I definitely live for the holiday so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.